Friday night number two is in the books for high school football. Tonight, Jamestown traveled to Orchard Park. Frewsburg hosted Nichols, but we start down on Falconer Street where the Falcons hosted Salamanca. Falconer looking to knock off the Warriors and get back to 500 early in 2011, but it wasn't going their way early. Warriors up 21-0 after the first quarter, early second now. Salamanca pitch to Ben Haas for the first down on the 21-yard run. Two plays later, Tanner John's gonna fling it out to Javon Battle. He shakes one Falcon, follows his block, and from there it's all about the wheels. He has gone 65 yards for the touchdown, 27 nothing Warriors. Falcon are looking to regroup as they trail by those 27 points. They can't stop the runaway train that is Haas. Here's 11 more yards on the pitch and yet another Salamanca first down. Late second now, Haas can catch the ball as well. A little dump down to Haas and he is gone on the John pass. 55 yard pitch and catch. He had five touchdowns in this game. It's 33 nothing there. Falconer would score 18 points in the second half, but still fall on this one, 33 to 18. We head out to Frewsburg. Bears looking to bounce back from their 27-25 loss to Randolph last Friday night. First play of the game, Bears sweep to Thaddeus Johnson. He gets a block and gains 27 yards down the sideline before he would step out and be taken down. The very next play, it was more Thad Johnson. Halfback counter, whoop, makes the cut and gets another first down on the 17 yard run. And get this, it's just the third play of the game. Preston Wiltsey to Dalton Peterson and the offense was humming along for the Bears. He just outruns the D on that play. 23 yard touchdown, six nothing there. Nichols first possession is blown up by the Bears defense. Tyler Sanders gets the sack and forces the punt. Ensuing Bears drive, we'll see to Nick Mitchell. The tight end gets it in the flat, picks up 13 yards and another Bears first down. Next play, Wiltsey on the naked boot. You see him here, comes out little fake play action. Nothing's open, so I'll take it myself. He gains 14 yards and is in the red zone for the Bears, and things are just clicking for Frewsburg. Later in the series, Johnson on what looks to be a broken play. Just says, I'll do everything by myself. He gets the seven yards needed for the touchdown. It's 12-0 Bears at that point. They go on in the route, 52-16 to over Nichols. Jamestown traveled up to Orchard Park, and you see it there. Things did not go Jamestown's way, falling 31-14. They did trail 24-0 at half, so they were able to outscore OP 14-7 in the second. With the loss, Jamestown is now 1-1 one one on the season. They travel to Niagara Wheatfield next Saturday. That's a game they should be favored in. They're not home until Friday, September 30th, when Lancaster comes to town.